of the education program will be rolled out across the province. Nuntlagani Pumakwaza for SABC News, Eshoi. Many small emerging business owners often lack an in-depth understanding of the industries they wish to venture into, and this often leads to them failing to get funding. That's according to some funding institutions, including the Industrial Development Corporation. They say the lack of thorough research and market studies put many aspirant business owners at a disadvantage. This emerged during the second day of the youth empowerment program held in Mahigeng. The event comes at a time when youth unemployment is in the country is at a staggering 61%. Our reporter, Silwane Kakau, and video journalist Tumelo Sikabeti compiled this report. The youth being educated about career and business opportunities and how to successfully get funding. 34-year-old Faith Murubani has been running this hair salon for six years. He is among many of the youth who maintain that there isn't enough information on how to get funding. I tried to apply for funding online when it was COVID. I never get the response. So I've heard this other one of the who works at the development said I must go and come to the office and check if they can assist us, but they were nowhere to be found. We don't have information, we don't know where to go, who to talk to, so we just hanging there hoping one day they will talk something. Funding institutions shed light on mistakes that aspiring business owners often do that hinder them from getting funding. When it comes to young people applying for, for funding, is um, firstly, there's a lack of research and understanding of the industry and the business that they purport to go into. Secondly, we need to also encourage young people that we see as a flaw that there's um, little research in terms of the market. And lastly, the financial information that we then receive from the, the, the applicant is really lacking in substance. We need proper record keeping of the activities that you engage in. Generally, we are in skills development, uh, but in the transport industry. So transport uh, that we have in the air, in the sea, on the roads, in terms of trucks, and on rail, in terms of trains. So all the skills that are in that type of transport. Meanwhile, those who attended the event say it was an eye-opener. It was very eye-opening for me because I could get an array of information uh, on how to start basically within my community. Today we learned that uh, when we're looking at our sitters and our sifers, uh, what they look at mostly is how long your business has been running and when they look at your financial statements. So it's important that when you're starting a small business, you keep a record of your financials, how much money you're making, how much money it costs to run your business. I've learned that if you want to start a business, you must do a thorough research yeah, on, on how to manage your finances, on how to to, to be a professional, uh, profitable business, businessman. The three-day event also touches on issues such as health and wellness, as well as social ills such as gender-based violence. Selwane Khachau, SABC News, Mahigeng. In 2017, a man from...